it, the one thing you won't see is a lot from the passing game, but you will see two physical teams who love to run the football. It's exciting to watch, and this is something I'm looking forward to. I had a chance to watch South Fayette earlier this season, put up a ton of points against Seton LaSalle. Got to give credit to West Mifflin's defense. I know people are going to talk about the running backs in this situation, right. but West Mifflin's defense having to make a play at the end of the ball game to seal the victory. They have struggled, and when you look back, they don't have an identity right now. One minute they want to throw the football, and then they want to line up and power football. But you have to give credit to Beaver Falls defense, keeping them in the ball game, being able to come up with critical stops. And this is what we expected. We expected both teams to dominate the line of scrimmage. But when you look back, both teams ran the ball very, very well. But I like the way that Moon was able to respond after turning the football over twice in this ball game. Brett, Charlie Batch here. Congratulations. Thank you. I know you're excited. I know uh, this is exactly what you expected heading into this game. Talk a little bit about your offensive line up front because they kept you clean the majority of the game. Because last week it was a tough week against Thomas Jefferson, but you were able to have your team bounce back in a critical playoff game here today. And I just wanted to congratulate you on that. No, thanks, Charlie. I appreciate that.